So, I'm about to say a phrase that I never thought I would say ever in my life. I am raising cockroaches. On purpose. Over the years, I have kept many things. But roaches were definitely not on my list of things that I wanted to have. In fact, they were on the list of things I really disliked, next to mushrooms. I mean, you know the stereotype. They infest people's houses, they run really fast, they can fly, apparently, they bite, breed like crazy, could survive a nuclear explosion. JK, that's actually not true. And worst of all, I'm pretty sure they stink. I mean, I wouldn't know because I didn't purposely sniff them, but they definitely look like they do. All in all, they were just a huge no-no for me. So, how the heck did I get here? Now, there are only two reasons why one would breed roaches on purpose. You either have pets to eat them, or you were just a complete weirdo. I just happen to be both. It all started when I had a praying mantis named Baby, and I was looking up different kinds of food to feed her. Flies were getting a bit too hard to find in my backyard, winter was coming, and I definitely did not want to resort to buying crickets. Don't ask me why, because I am not going to take the time to tell you. Nah, I guess I have time. Okay, I'll tell you. Crickets are stupid. First of all, they don't come cheap. Each one costs like 17 cents each. So imagine, if you buy like 10 of them, then, you know, well, that just really adds up. They also might not look like it, but they really stink. Like, you don't have to get that close to a container full of them to get a whiff of crickets. Ugh. But most of the time, I don't even get to use them because they just die for no reason. Literally, one time I bought a bunch of crickets and within the next few days, they're already dead. One of them I thought was just drinking water for the longest time, but no, it was dead. It drowned while drinking water. Stupid. That's like $5 I'm never gonna see again. You know what I could buy with $5? They are also apparently very prone to having parasites that could potentially transfer to your pet. Several times in the past, I have gone to buy crickets at the pet store and when I look inside those carryout containers full of crickets, most of the time, they're either dead or dying and there would be beetles in there, which usually means that it evolved from a larvae which evolved alien style from inside the cricket. And I would do the responsible thing and tell the store clerk too, like, uh, hey man, just letting you know that you got a lot of dead crickets in those containers and a lot of them look like they're infested. Just saying, I don't think a lot of people would wanna buy those. But then they would just be like, oh yeah, that tends to happen. Can't really do anything about that. It is what it is. And nope, that is not something you wanna hear. But you know what? I'm just glad he does not work at a restaurant because, oh my gosh, could you imagine? Oh, you got a worm in your food? Yeah, can't do anything about that. It is what it is. To sum it all up, crickets are just a bad idea in general. So if you didn't know that about crickets, well, now you know. So yeah, I definitely felt the need to switch. I needed something cost effective, sturdy, doesn't smell, and provide good nutritional value for my precious baby. And that was when I was introduced to Dubia roaches. And let me tell you, Dubia roaches are like the Rolls Royce of cockroaches. They have the hardiness of, well, a roach, so they don't die that easily. Males have wings, but they can't fly, more like fall with style. They don't bite, they are gut loaded with nutrition, and believe it or not, they don't smell. Or at least it's not that bad. And no, it's not what you think. I did not purposely smell one. That's not the point. Basically, they are completely opposite of all the things that I dislike about roaches. Now, some of you might say, but John, aren't you afraid of them escaping the container and then infesting your house? Ah, yes, but that is another beautiful thing I forgot to mention. See, for one thing, they can't climb the smooth surfaces, so as long as they are kept in like a plastic tub, they can't get out. Also, even if they did somehow manage to escape, they wouldn't survive that long in Southern California climate because it is hot and dry when they need hot and humid conditions. So, you know, it just doesn't work. Also, it was gonna be winter season soon, so somewhat cold. Anyways, things were going great. The perfect food source for my perfect pet. Unfortunately, two problems came up. For one thing, a lot of the baby doobie roaches became too big for my mantis to eat. Baby was a relatively small adult, hence the name, and the other problem was that she kind of died. No, she did. Sorry, that was a little misleading. Mantises usually only live up to one year versus a female dubia roach that can live like 
three times that. So that definitely complicated things. Now I have all these roaches and nothing to feed them to. And it's not like I have a huge collection of pets just lying around, unlike some people. <coughs> I could just have let them die however long that would take, but I don't know, that just sounds cruel, even for roaches. And I did pay for them. So I came up with an alternative, a genius alternative. And thus began my journey of starting my very own Dubia Roach Colony. It was a brilliant plan. This way I saved tons of money having to constantly buy new roaches or any other critters that I would need. And it becomes a stable food source for any future roach eating pets I get. And who knows, maybe in the future my friends might get pets that need Dubia Roaches and I could charge them a stupid amount of money. <laughs> Ah, don't worry. They're med students. They'll make lots of money when they finally become, uh, doctors. It's fine. Man, who knew that breeding like crazy would actually be considered a good thing? The next thing I knew, I was immersing myself in this new niche of roach farming. And let me tell you, it's an actual thing. Like, like, people do this. There are people out there that have these massive bins full of dubia roaches. If I am being completely honest, the first few times, I probably gagged. But then I finally went out, gathered a bunch of materials, and I fashioned my very own roach bin. That was maybe like less than a year ago, and the roaches I had left were still pretty small. And I am sure that all of you want to know what it looks like now, so why describe it when I could just show you? So. Oh my gosh, this feels like an episode of Exotic Slayer <laughs> with all these hand motions and me pointing and stuff. Acting! Let me just open this up really quick so that way you can see what we've all been waiting for. Dun dun dun! There they are! Roaches! And look how fat this one is. Boop! Oh! <laughs> and there's another one down there. Oh yeah, there's more of them in here. So if you can see that. Ooh, look at all these roaches. So can you imagine just like a gallon or like a 10 gallon container full of these things? Oh, that is the dream. I don't know how excited my parents would be to see that. Wow, there's even more of them. It's insane. These things breed like crazy. Like I was worried because for the longest time the, they weren't, uh, there weren't any babies even though they were full-fledged adults. And uh, so I was like, oh no, am I doing something wrong? But no, it just turns out they needed some time and then boom, lots of babies. So it's really cool. Uh, this is just a water bottle with some holes in it so that way it keeps the humidity. This is so that way I can like tell the temperature or keep track of the temperatures. Uh, yeah. You know, it was interesting. The more I was researching how to have one of these things, the more I found myself fascinated with it. Like, it was actually pretty fun learning all this stuff, and I just felt this strange sense of accomplishment, seeing the roaches grow up, and eventually the proudest moment, seeing the roaches have babies for the first time. <laughs> A roach colony's growing. One day, one day, I will be able to fill one of those huge black tubs with dubia roaches, because I want to. They are truly the only roaches I like so far. Are they my pets? I guess so. Pets that at some point, I will feed off to my other pets. What? It's not like I named them. Okay, end card time. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, after this video, don't you agree that Dubia Roaches are like super cool now for roaches? Yeah, yeah, I agree. Anyways, just wanted to give a quick announcement on the merch store. We have some new Tofu Tastic editions. We got some new notebooks. There might be a water bottle. If not, there will be soon. There's a double sided keychain with a tofu and a ninja guy on the back, and that you can like flip it around. It's super cool. So be sure to check them out at crabmade.com slash young young tales. A little hint. Um, these designs will definitely pair very nicely with something else that I got releasing within the next two months. Not gonna spoil it, but just saying, it'll be pretty cool. So, really excited to show you. Um, that'll be it for this end card. Thank you so much for watching. Continue to stay safe during these crazy times, and stay young.